Don't tell me to calm down. You all saw that thing, too. And let's not forget that lunatic who fucking firebombed us. That's enough. The withering has spread to us. The blight has to be stopped. And what about Rachel? Is she blighted now, too? Rachel has been chosen by the purifier. She... <laughs> I don't believe this. The source of the withering has yet to be found. Until then, we must remain united, vigilant. And what about Toby? Whether we like it or not, he's in this now, too. Toby will continue to complicate things. He should be dealt with first, kept on a tight leash. He and Eric are friends. I can get him to talk to Toby, get him to back down and lay low. Good. Use their friendship to get him to see reason. No. Toby is unpredictable. He's captive to his emotions. We need to keep him calm. Humor him. <laughs> Am I the only one who was paying attention? Toby thinks we summoned a monster. That we can control it. We can use that. <sighs> I'll talk to Eric. You really messed up this time. You're paying for that, Sorelli. It's not my fault. You... you didn't see it. <gasps> always running, always numbing. You can't keep running, Toby. It's your fault. All of it. Me. The Melvin. It's not my fault! Hey! Do I gotta call the cops? I'm sure they'd love to get the call. Finally put you away after that shit you pulled at the mill. Yeah, you think I forgot about that? You think this town's forgotten? Look, I'm trying to make it right. You want to make things right? Make peace with your past? You start by taking responsibility. Apologize to the people you hurt. <sighs> Apologize? They should be saying sorry to me. Anything goes wrong in this town, it's always Toby fucking Sorelli. Even when I'm doing something right, it's wrong. You think what you did at the mill was right? I'm done being this town's whipping boy. I'll make peace with my past by doing what I always do. Telling it to fuck off. Is that their grave? I found another one of those piles. Felt like I should give it a proper burial. What do you think did this? I found a dead rabbit once. It was gutted head to toe. I didn't even recognize it, just matted fur and flesh. So I scooped it up. Took it home to study. Mama was very angry with me. Maybe what killed that rabbit did this, too. The people around here don't like my family very much. This wouldn't be the first time we've been harassed. Why are they angry with you? It's getting dark. You should go home. I don't think it's safe out here. So you'll teach me to shoot? <sighs> I haven't decided. But you said it's not safe. Eva, I... Get behind me. Eva, no! I... I, I missed. Go home, Eva. But... I said go home. <laughs> 